All right, my wonderful people. How you guys doing today? It's March 10th, my birthday, 2023. <laughs> How you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a great day. We are getting rain in Big Bear. Temperature is currently showing 44 degrees, but it is gonna change. We're on Moon Ridge Road. We are going to kind of do a similar drive that we did late last night. It's kind of hard, harder to see at night. I did it at about 3.30 or 4, 4 in the morning because that's when it started raining. As you guys know, I jump on top of this right away. Anytime we get any weather change, this is what I do. I'm very obsessive compulsive about it, and especially because you guys appreciate it so much. It gives me so much purpose, so I love doing it for you guys. So let me get to the weather app here on the Weather Channel so I can show you guys what's up. Show you guys what's up. These snowplow crews have done a great job. By the way, guys, I'm uploading tomorrow a video. I got to go on a snowplow today and we did three different properties um, and we did one of the steepest driveways, or it's, it. he said it's the scariest driveway of the 364 properties that they do. So I am super, super, super stoked to upload that for you guys. It was, it was a bit scary at points, but it was fun. I can't wait, I cannot wait. So let's see here. This is what it says for our situation today. I hope you guys can see it. And then let's see if we have anything tomorrow. Nope, we're gonna be good tomorrow. But yeah, guys, this is awesome. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of bummed it's rain. Look at the tap, 46 degrees. Um, this rain and the heat, and even though the sun isn't, isn't shining through, still, some of the sun's power and strength it will will get through the radiational heating um and because of the sun's angle this snow is going to melt quickly you guys so um and don't it please don't think that all this snow has already melted by looking at the sides of our roads here the snow plow crews up here um especially for for caltrans is is ridiculous like they bring in 50 or 60 dump trucks just lined back to back to back to back to back to back to back and they have a big snow blower that, that fills them up with all the snow from our sidewalks and stuff so rapidly. And so they get all that out of the way and, and they take it to some area where they dump it all. Um, I gotta find out where that is because that'd be a cool huge pile of snow to go see. But yeah, you guys, super excited to show you the, the plow video. Um, oh, this is, this is just awesome. This is just awesome. And what I want to do when we drive through the village, we're going to drive through half the village because I wanted to show a lot of you while it's daytime. Um, one, of the, one of the back routes to avoid Big Bear Boulevard all the way to Moon Ridge from the village. It's a, it's, a, it's a freaking awesome route, you guys. I've shown you guys in the past, but it's important I show you guys again. Try and save you guys as much time as possible. But yeah, this is so cool, you guys. I wish it was snowing on my birthday, but that's okay. I was gonna go skiing today, but nah, no skiing today. It's raining, it's gonna be nasty and not fun out there. At least for me. There are some diehard folks out there who it, it doesn't matter. Rain, sun, snow, whatever. They just love being up there. I used to, just not anymore. I'm getting too old for that. 43 years young. So we just passed the village. We're, we're, we're gonna take Lakeside Drive. Um, you can't even hardly see, see the lake because of so much fog out there. Oh, I, I guess you can, I guess you can. It's just not that that great of a view. But we're gonna take Lake Lakeview up to Edgemore and then turn around, uh, come back down Big Bear Boulevard, go, go through the village. But then when I start going through the village, that's where I want you guys to really start paying attention. So you guys who come up here a lot, you know that the traffic coming this other direction, this way, it, it can get so bad, you guys. And all the way to Moon Ridge and the grocery stores, we just turned right on a little strip of Lakeview. And I wanna save you guys time, as I said. And let me just apologize for a lot of people who are reading social media about a lot of angry, not a lot, but some ang angry locals talking smack about Flatlanders coming up here. Um, don't listen to any of that. I guarantee you, they're not business owners. I guarantee you, they're just whiners. And uh, we depend on you guys. So I got your guys' back always. I don't care how they feel about me at all. 
I really don't. I care about you guys. Um, obviously, I want you guys to always be respectful, and I'm sure everyone on this channel is. I don't have to ask you guys. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really frustrating to me for um, just nobodies to be talking smack about you guys. Like, I was really trying to get you guys back up here as soon as Highway 18 on the backside opened for everybody because our business owners need your support. Without you guys or the business owners, I don't live here. I'll never stop telling you guys that because it's the truth. Of course, I like the town when it's super quiet, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a peaceful place. I, 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 I moved up here to get away from all the hustle and bustle and to be in the snow. So just uh, please understand that uh, I don't want you guys to ever take any of the of the anger directed at tourists. Um, don't 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 take it personally. Feel sorry for those people. That's how you need to actually act. As I said, I I, I don't give two cares about how they feel feel about me. I'm trying to provide a service for you guys and a service for our town overall. I, I like I'm trying to help these people. <laughs> you know. Um, once again, you guys come up here and you guys create the jobs for us. So I, I love you guys to death. And uh, I will always have your back. And I hope you guys have my back too. If, if people are like, that idiot is telling people to come up here and, and blah, blah, blah. Who does he think he is? You know, I hope you guys have my back as well. What, what we got going here so we're on lakeview still oh, man I'm, I'm, I'm telling you these plow operators are amazing especially the one i got to ride with earlier today my gosh you guys wait it, it, it's an hour long video it is so cool like it was so much fun as i said we did the steepest for him i'm paraphrasing but it's it's the scariest driveway for him like he has to move his boom back and forth to really counterbalance it the the, the, the whole tractor because uh, um, we don't want to slide off the cliff the driveway cliff um, so that that made me nervous to hear all that you know but I trust him very very good guy I'm gonna take he and his his partner slash boss to lunch today I told them anywhere they want if they need me to put gas in, in, in the tractor, I'm happy to do that too. Um, just toss it on a credit card because I'm very, very grateful that they invited me to go ride in the snowplow. That is so cool. All right, folks, so we're at Edgemore right now. This is what it looks like. We're kind of on a, a peninsula here. It's super cool. Last night's drive, we went to the, the end of Edgemore right here. We took it all the way to the end, but we're gonna be taking a left right here and taking this to Big Bear Boulevard and then coming back through, showing you guys the shortcut from the village all the way to Moon Ridge. Once again, I want you guys to have the best time possible. Also, I should have mentioned this at the, the beginning. I'm, I'm gonna post a link in the description for Destination Big Bear, you guys. They are doing these awesome giveaways and the owner contacted, contacted me personally to share it with all of you guys. He's a, he's a huge fan of our channel. He's even posted a bunch of, 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 of our videos on, his, on his, his website, Destination Big Bear. I think you guys should really check it out. You'll be stoked, but click on that link, put in your email address, and, and you could win free vacations up here in, in the near future too. Annual ski lift passes and stuff like that. Like The dude is a very selfless guy, and he's really hooking it up. These are humongous freaking uh um prizes you guys so i'm very honored i'm very honored as i told you guys i'm gonna always fight for you guys to do the best i can to get you guys the best experience possible in big bear the very best and if i can save you guys any money or get you guys free stuff up here then my job is really done at, at that point I'll, I'll, I'll never stop i just want to keep on hooking you guys up if i can because you guys make me feel so good inside. It's priceless, it really is. There's there's just nothing I could ever do to fully repay you guys. So I just want you to, to know thank, that I am very, very thankful for you guys. Okay, here we go. Big Bear Boulevard. And here it is. So we're gonna head towards
towards the village now. Once again, you guys remember how cool this rear view mirror is, right? So when I flip this switch right here with my finger, it turns into a camera, a rear view camera. Watch this. Look at that. It's a freaking camera now. How awesome sauce is that? Let's flip it back now. Whoop. Okay. So excited. I really hope you guys check out the snowplow video though. Man, that was fun as fun as can be. The second property we went to was, was the crazy steep one. And I felt the sliding a little bit, but man, this guy's got some seriously good control over this big piece of heavy equipment. It's awesome. It was just such a privilege being on there. Okay, straight ahead, you guys. This is a place where you can pay to go sledding. They have a little roller coaster here called the uh, the, uh, the the mine shaft. Super super fun over here. These paid places have these uh, walkways that um, pull you up, so you don't have to hike up to the top and sled back down. So your kids can really get a lot of runs in without uh, getting too tired. Just pure fun, just straight up fun. And that's that's what I want for you guys. I want you guys to come up here and have a lot of fun. I want the kids to never forget this place. And just have all of you create the most amazing memories with your families up here. It really is what it's about up here, you guys. Let me sip on my mocha frappuccino real quickly. I am addicted to these things. We're going through the light. Now we are entering the Big Bear Village. And uh, as I said, we're gonna go through half the village, but we're, we're not gonna turn down the last part on Pine Knot. We're gonna take this all the way to Moonridge. Folks, we are in the village. The, the, the village. Thank you so much, Steve. I appreciate that. I will definitely get back to you in about an hour and a half or so to let you know what's up. Thank you again, brother. All right, guys, so instead of turning left here, we are going to be going around or straight. So instead of turning left, finishing the village here, we're gonna go straight here. And take this all the way to Moonridge. We don't technically need to do it right now because the traffic in town is nothing. But I wanna do it for you guys, so hang on. Rolling down my window, pounding the rest of my drink, pound, pound. Elementary. Okay, so once we cross that street that uh, called Knickerbocker. This street turns into Pennsylvania Avenue, okay? And we're going to take Pennsylvania Avenue all the way till it till it ends at, to a street called Jeffries, I believe, is where we will end up. So once again, when you're on Big Bear Boulevard and you come up to that Chevron and you go straight to go into the village, just continue staying straight. 
don't make any turns and you'll end up in, in this neighborhood. Boom. All right, I'm sure you guys are super proud of me for how fast I drank that. I can drink those in literally five or six sips. I, I don't know what it is about them, but they are very special. All right, guys, hang on a second. I gotta put this down for a moment, hang on. All right, let's get back on it. Wow, man, you, you, you guys are so cool. You guys are so cool. Let me just respond to this gentleman who sent me a, a birthday Venmo today. I mean, you guys are just so cool. Hang on, there's, there's no one behind us, so I'm gonna stop it right now just so I can read this and I'll start it when I get going. Thank you for your love and support, David. You really are the man. All right, guys, so we turned on Jeffries, and the next street we're gonna turn right on is Oak. Temperature dropped down to 43. We're gonna turn right here on Oak. As I said, this is gonna take us to Moonridge, for those of you who know Moonridge, which is most of you. And I must say thank you to all of you who have been giving me constructive criticism about my speed of driving. Thank you guys. I hope you can see that I am heeding your advice because when you give me constructive criticism, that's when I listen. When it's people attacking me and being mean about it, I go faster. <laughs> all right, so let's see here. The street here is called Eureka. So when you get to these two yellow signs here where it says not a through street, you want to turn left. This is Eureka. And Eureka is going to turn into a street called McWinney. So you can see right up here, it's going to just curve around to the right there. That's this next street up here, McWinney. So you can't go straight here, so you have to turn right. So that's pretty easy to remember right there. And you guys, when we have some serious traffic in town, this is how this is gonna look most of the time, just like this. Obviously, if this channel ends up continuing to grow, continuing to grow, you know, it's not gonna be quite as uh, as empty, but it'll still still be nice. Again, I, I'm not trying to irritate anybody that lives up here. I'm just trying to help you guys have the best experience possible. And I know you guys are gonna be respectful driving on these side streets. I'm not worried about it. So we just turned left on Wren, W-R-E-N. Now we're gonna turn right on Brownie Lane. And then Brownie's gonna take us all the way to Moon Ridge Road. Let's again take a look here. We're on Brownie Lane now. I go through so much gas on this bad boy. I really do. Okay, hang tight. All right, let's charge. This is the exit for Snow Summit. This street, it's called Thrush. Just wanna make sure we're not gonna get hit by anybody. But well, we're gonna stay on Brownie Lane. And then the next major street we come up to is called Summit Boulevard. And that is your main entrance into Snow Summit. 
But I just basically took you guys on, on one of the, the main routes up here um, where a lot of the tourists stick to. But yeah, this this light bit of rain, you guys, this, this is definitely going to impact our snowpack for sure. It's not much, but it's going to have a, it's going to have a good impact. I can guarantee you. Big Bear Boulevard. Don't forget you guys a lot of these side streets still have some good snow and ice on them um, some of them are still very 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 tough I don't know what chain controls are right now you guys I have no idea so call 800 Caltrans or download the Caltrans quick map app usually it's a very quick up very up-to-date system and I want you guys to be prepared when you come up here um, I always always suggest even though it's not a big storm you just don't want to play any games or take any risks make sure that you have some blankets in the car fill up your gas tank at the very bottom of of the mountain i don't care if you guys get here to the bottom of the mountain with three quarters of a tank plenty of gas to get up and back down and home probably i want you to fill your tank up at the very bottom and top it off because i don't want you guys having any issues coming up here and then have blankets in your car um, enough food and water to last a, a good week or so let a few people know where you're going and when to expect to hear from you Because it is no no joke up here this rain is is going to cause a lot of uh, possible avalanches in certain areas as well as uh, rock and mud slides and i just don't want you guys getting caught up in that but if the worst case uh, scenario happens i want you guys to be prepared all right guys so we're on moon ridge road that was pretty easy right and as i said if, if, even if it's bumper to bumper traffic on big bear boulevard that's pretty much what you'll see on those side streets, hardly any traffic. Of course, you'll see a few more cars, but it's, it's really nothing. And we're gonna take this to get to Big Bear City. We're gonna, so we're gonna take the side roads to get to, to Big Bear City now. Just the, the, the beginning of Big Bear City. Thank you, thank you. I know I had the right of way, but people up here drive like crazy, so you just gotta assume they're gonna run right through it like that guy was going to. But I had some sign language for him, back and forth. Not what you guys were thinking. <laughs> Maybe, I'm just kidding, I don't do that. You never know if someone's gonna pull out a weapon or something, so you, you, know, you always gotta just kinda suck it up. Suck it up. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying what I'm doing, please hook me up, hit a like and, and subscribe. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Do it for my birthday, please. Hit the notification bell to be reminded of any new videos coming out, especially for the snowplow video, you guys. Man, I really hope we get a lot of views because the guy who ran that plow, it's just the nicest guy ever. Like, just the nicest guy ever. And I just want him to get some serious recognition for what he does. Um, they are what keep keep this town running you guys this time of year with, with big storms like this so I, I'm very very grateful to them I'm also stoked to know like a big plow company now know the ownership all that good stuff not for like you know hooking me up and stuff like that but just so i can refer you guys 
to some like uh, obviously I've been trying to refer my friend Austin because he's he's my friend and he does a really great job too but his his four-wheel drive broke and so I I mean I hope you would understand that I want you guys to get taken care of right away not have to wait and wait and wait and wait so right now we are on a street called McAllister when we turned off of Moon Ridge, when, when we run, went around the first uh, roundabout, we turned, we were on Elm Street, and then we turned on to Cougar, turned right onto Cougar, and then if, since we stayed on Cougar, it turned into this street called McAllister. The next street we're going down is, uh, we're gonna turn right here, and I think it's still McAllister, which is kind of, kind of strange that's how a lot of streets are up here you'll make a like a complete turn and it's still the same street name let's see what it says on my gps what do you know it's still kevin McAllister. Now we turn left on Sugar Pine for the blink of an eye, literally. Nothing, nothing more than that. Watch, just blink your eyes real quick, done. Turn right here on Division Road. This is the road that separates Big Bear Lake from Big Bear City. So basically on this side of the street, you're gonna be, be in, in Big Bear Lake. This side, or no, Big Bear City, and this side, Big Bear Lake, typically for the most part. So we're gonna take this through Big Bear Boulevard to go to North Shore. Take North Shore to uh, Stanfield Cutoff and then head back. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm, I'm really, really honored to have you guys here with me. I, I really hope you're having a great day, you guys. I love doing this for you guys. It, it's, it just feels so good. It really feels so good having you guys in my life. Here's another paid place to go sledding. It's called Big Bear Snow Play. Once again, as I said, they have these um, motorized walkways that pull you up to the very top, pull your kids up so, so they don't have to run through all their energy right away. I'm sure a lot of parents want that to happen, but uh, this way they can get a lot of runs in. And as I said, any way I can help help you guys, I absolutely will. airport to our, our right right here. I don't know if you can get a good enough view, but that's our airport right there. Just a beautiful white paradise over there. Look at that. All right, hang on a second. All right, here we are on North Shore. I'll hit you up, my friend, in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Hold on, I gotta do that again. I will contact you, brother Steve, in about an hour to an hour and a half. I hope you're having a wonderful day, my bro. One of my 
favorite neighborhoods right here. Obviously, I point the camera right in the worst spot too, right where all those plants are sticking up. This neighborhood is on this big prairie right out there. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Send me your address, my brother from another mother. Okay. This is right where I crashed my, my, my other car right here. Going the other direction, but right there. I was, I was, I was talking on the phone. I, I, I wasn't texting, I was talking on the phone. And as you can hear, I do voice texting. But I was talking on the phone to, to my wife and somehow I wasn't paying attention. It was the first car accident I've ever been in. And all my years of, of driving and all those years that I was a moron and drank and drive, drank and drove. I don't know how I, I never got in any really bad accidents, but I, I never did. Thank goodness I never hurt anybody. That that would have been the most devastating thing ever. Myself, eh. It, it's okay, but other people, no, it's not. Alright, here is the lake coming up on the right. Let's see if we can get a good view of it. That's something else. You got a thin little layer of ice on the It's so beautiful. So beautiful. All right, you guys. So once again, uh, we're on Stanfield Cutoff. Now we're going to turn right onto Big Bear Boulevard. But I got to tell you guys, I am so unbelievably lucky that you guys are in my life. So we took some shortcuts today. Hope you guys enjoyed them. Hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Hopefully we might a little bit later turn over to snow a little bit, but I can't promise anything. That looks like the machine I was just in. Yeah, here's our grocery stores. I hate seeing this this piled up snow brown and nasty like that. It's just so so disgusting. But it is what it is. going to turn on Moonridge to head back to where we need to go. We're going to turn on this next street called Catalina and come in the back of Lower Moonridge and then we are going to be done. We're going to be pal brada. No more to kind. No more to kind drive around. Oh, you like for beef, brah. All right, here we go. There's the Witnesses of Jehovah. That's that church right there, Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, once again, we're on Catalina. Temperature is 44 degrees. I'm going to go back to our weather app just to get one, one more notification. Let's see what we got going on. Thank you very much, Steve. Definitely looking forward to seeing you today, my man. 
period. You have a great attitude always. You're a positive person. I'm very, very grateful to always get to see you when I have the chance. I know it looks like I'm freaking flying, guys, but look. I'm on nine. Oops, sorry. I'm, I'm going uphill now. So, but I was going 19 miles an hour. And then we hit that uphill part. Looking through the camera, it really does appear like I'm going a lot faster than I am. But I, once again, I want you guys to know that I am heeding your advice. Um, I'm never technically speeding, but I might at some points be going faster than I should be going for certain conditions out there. So, I definitely understand. And, uh, you guys have helped me grow tremendously over the past eight years. I've become a better man because of you guys. I can guarantee you that. So thank you guys for everything like that. For caring enough. All right, so now we're gonna turn right on Elm Street. Here we go. road and then we're going to be done. We're going to be kapow. All right, guys. Thank you again for everything. Thanks for cruising. Once the rain picks up more or if, if anything changes, we'll be out there doing what we do. Love you guys a lot. Please hit the like and subscribe button for my birthday today. I'd appreciate it. And uh, it really does help. Take care. It's March 10th, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. And all of you stay safe. Talk to you soon. Bye.